Welcome to week two of Ag Science 305. Now in this week, what we're talking about is the essential elements and planning an SAE. These are an important concepts for an SAE project. The idea of first, what is an essential element, really helps define what an SAE project is, or at least starts that. And then really the SAE plan is the first step of a quality project. So in this week, we're gonna talk a lot about planning and how important that is and the resources that go along with the plan. Also this week, you've got an assignment. It is about writing an SAE plan. Now I've got a outline for you to follow and I've got a rubric for you to look at as well to make sure you get all the credit you deserve. But the idea is, is what does it take to build a plan? So in this week, we're gonna go over this idea of planning. We're gonna look at some other resources that have to do with planning, maybe things you can use in the classroom. And then we're also gonna look at your homework that is about building an SAE plan. And the last part is a discussion that you have for this week. All right, let's take a look at the week. All right, um, first of all, we're gonna start off with the history of an SAE. We have some resources that I've built into here. One is Dr. Gary Moore, uh, North Carolina. Uh, State University, he built uh, or developed a summary of really experiential learning, the Smith-Hughes Act, and Rufus Stimson, which is called sometimes the father of the SAE. And when you click this link, I want you to read this information if you can. It's not too long, but it, it really kind of gives a chronological order of some of the leading factors that created what we now know as an SAE. The other part is, is I actually have a link to Rufus Stimson's book, um, again, he's the father of SAE, and his book actually is, is a pretty neat uh, um, history lesson on really SAE projects. It was published in 1918, which really he started into that role in, I think, about 1908. And so if you take a look at this link, it's a large file, so it may take a bit to download it. But on page 38, it really starts with... Um, a project, a home project, they called it. And then it goes through on the bottom of page 43. I found it to be humorous. He has the essential elements, or I think the essential parts of an SAE. And so you could read those. But it really gives us just a history lesson of SAE. So take a look at those resources. The next is, is my focus for you, and that's the essential elements of an SAE. I've got a couple of things here. I've got a link to a document that I've developed called The Essential Elements of an SAE. What does it take to have a good project? It's a, it's a two-page short look there. It's got a lot of information in it, though, but take a look at it. Read it from beginning to end in detail, and hopefully it kind of starts to frame for you the idea of an SAE. It also has some examples at the end. Now, this relates to the discussion question. Um, SAE is this experiential learning by doing um, um, uh, educational plan. So there is a video, it's a TED Talk. And so when you pull this up, I'll pull it up now. Um, this will pull up basically this guy that built this called Marshmallow Challenge. And he's got a page here that it goes to. Really, it's an interesting idea of teaching the idea of planning, the concept of a plan, the value of planning. And so go ahead and watch the video. Of course, it's gonna take like four minutes and so it's pretty quick. But anyway, he goes into a, uh, Tom goes into the value of a plan and it, maybe it's something you could use in the classroom. And it's been used in lots of other ways but called the marshmallow challenge. Take a look at that and, and I want you to reflect in that in the discussion. As you move through here, um, I have some information for you to review that talks about uh, planning for each type of SAE, foundational research, placement, or entrepreneurship. Each of these has links. Pull those up and review that information. Remember, I guess I didn't talk about it maybe last week, but your test one comes from these resources. So take a look at them. A plan also involves understanding money. So really that's research, placement, and entrepreneurship. They're the, really the money projects that are more money focused. So those are the resources that we have to go by SAE planning also involves three steps, and so I've outlined those here for you. And so this entire section is kind of the resources that you need. Now, uh, they also have an example of planning from an entrepreneurship perspective from the Indiana pork producers. So take a look at that as well. So all of these are research into how, resources into how to build or the importance of planning or how to build an SAE plan. So now is your assignment. I want you to take these sections and I have a rubric link for you right here when you pull up this rubric. This is a rubric that I've developed uh, and it gives you the plan, the name of their SAE, scope, time, financial, non-current, and learning outcomes. So one through seven. 
And so it tells you to take a look at, uh, find where I left off there, sections one through seven. So that's how you'll be scored. Now to help you even further, I've given you an outline. The outline has each project area. So the summary of your project involves these bullets at minimum. So make sure that you follow these. Time at minimum should be defined like this. And then money at minimum should be defined like this. And then learning outcomes at minimum would be uh, listed here. And I've given you an example at the bottom. So each one of you is gonna have to build this plan on a Word document. Gold is about two pages. Um, save that and upload that to eCampus for your score. All right, next is the discussion. This really has to do with that marshmallow video. But what was your takeaway from the video, especially related to SAE planning? And then the next part is, what are some examples that you could use to share with your students one day on why they should focus on planning their project? So hopefully uh, these two questions create some dialogue between all of you, but go ahead and address that for this week. All right, second week of Ag Science 305. Take a look at the information. Please take a look at the information provided here uh, on the history of SAE and really about SAE planning, those important aspects. The homework and the discussion are also to help reinforce these ideas about students planning an SAE project. All right, like always, if you need something, email me and I'll try to be quick to get back. Thanks.